Science of English Literature, Class 12, we are taking up another poem from Poetry Section, which is Keeping Quiet. Let's get started with its description, okay? What do you mean by introspection? So it is something like inspection, but intro means within. Okay. What you are doing, the poet asks us to count to 12. 1, 2, 3, up to 12 and keep still. Okay. And you have to think about yourself. I mean, keep still. And why? Poet is telling us to do this because he believes the poet believes that by doing this we shall experience very unusual feeling very unusual and in what sense positive or negative positive one because there will be there shall be complete silence by doing so and then we shall feel one we shall feel ourselves as one with all others, that we are all together. There will be no violence because everybody will be still, calm, cool. The poet says that please don't, don't do this, that his advocacy of quietness should not be confused with total inactivity. These are two different things. In introspection, what you are having in terms of total inactivity is there is a difference total inactivity means death inactivity amounts to death so you are not doing anything not even mental work not even uh, you know the introspection whereas introspection deals in the life it is concerned with life not with death so it is very sad. Poet thinks that, poet consider it as a sad situation. If we are only keeping ourselves all the time busy in worldly activities, we are not doing anything and, uh, you know, we are talking about any other body and we are not focusing on our mind, our fitness and find no time for quiet introspection. This is a sad situation for poet. Because for poet, we can understand ourselves only if we stop all our activities for a few moments. You know, count up to 12 and then it's like meditation. You are finding yourself. Do some quiet introspection. What you did right, what you do wrong. And um, in the end of the poem, there is also comparison of earth with all other beings. That poet invokes the symbol of the earth. Why? Why he has chosen earth? Because it teaches us that everything dead later proves to be alive. Just like if you see in winters, what we have? Earth seems to be dead. But later, in spring, what happens? It proves that it is alive, not dead. Similarly, what we have to do? We have to stop our activities for a few moments. We have to think very positively. And then by suspending our activities just like earth for a short, we can start them in a better moment, better manner. Just like, uh, see, for example, tomorrow is your board exam. And, you know, you are panicking what will happen, what will happen. Time will tell you, right? What would happen is not... Under your control, you can only do, maximum part which you can do is the preparation and you have done it. Now, be still, be calm and then think what you have learned, you can revise. You can, you can be still and make yourself calm and cooler, okay? And in this way, you will be able to relax and you can be able to start you can start your examination, writing your examination in a better manner. Okay? So this is about the poem. Now it's homework time.
please do it very carefully i haven't found any comments from you guys that you have done this part i want to know your progress so read the poem solve ncert questions solve refer to context best sanja followed by questions are given and also go through the previous year questions so that none of the perceptions will go untouched okay you have touched upon everything every single part of this poet poem and it is important okay so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please do subscribe my channel for next for upcoming videos till my upcoming videos take care of yourself bye bye